Okay, redoing this video, but to recap, I burnt myself on the heating element of the stove. And I burnt myself on pork chops, because they're cold and they hurt. Cold things hurt me, and it sucks. It's very painful. So, what we're gonna do is turn this off, because I have to use that thing, because it's fucking retarded. Okay, so. Got pork chops in the skillet. It's on a low heat setting. I don't, I don't know what you use, uh, like, I don't know what kind of stoves you guys have, but this is really dirty and needs to be cleaned off after this. God, you're a fucking slob. Jesus. Fucking Jack Smiles, the fucking not cleaning up this goddamn stove expert right here. Um, so, what we're gonna do is I'm going to leave this covered. It's got a lid on low heat. I leave it covered because this is being cooked from frozen. When you cook meat from fr like when you cook meat that's straight out of the freezer, you want to cook it on a low heat setting. There we go. You want to cook it on a low heat setting while it's covered up. When it's covered, it steams itself. The ice and the frost on it kind of works as a uh, little bit of water in there to moist leave some moisture inside. As long as you don't constantly fucking open it to let the steam out, it'll steam it most of the way, and it'll like leave some nice soft meat. How I always do it anyway. And today we are going to cook with a shitty fucking goddamn motherfucking stupid piece of shit. We're gonna use. Szechuan sauce. This is the style of Szechuan sauce that I, I'm using right now. You may want to pause that video and look at this and see what it says and use this because that's the style I'm using. You need to be careful though because this one says it's, says it's hot. So if spicy food is not your favorite thing, you may want to pass up this, uh, this little English.exe has stopped working. Please contact your system administrator for further assistance. Um, if you don't do spicy food well, you either want to use a very, very small amount of this, uh, or just not at all get a different type maybe if it's if you can find one that's less spicy but that's going to be really spicy shit now i'm going to leave that to cook uh for five minutes yeah wait yeah i'll set an alarm for five minutes and i'm gonna check on that and see how it's doing because i'm not going to open it until it's cooking well so i'll be back all right let me Move this over here. There we go. Okay, do you see this going on? This lovely... Fucking turn on the light. There we go. Look at this. Got this lovely crisp outside to it. This is pork chop. This is pork chop that has been... basically steamed. It's been covered up and been cooking for about 10 minutes, actually. It wasn't 5. It was 10. So, I'm restarting it up a little bit. Still on low, but lower than before, and we are not going to look at my dirty dishes. That's what. So, what we're going to do is we're going to take we're going to take a bag of stir-fry vegetables. This is a frozen, like, bag of frozen stir-fry stuff. So, let's just change this. There we go. And we're just going to add this into there. That actually looks like it's a perfect amount. Cool. It's hard to keep this camera still because I'm working on a big, giant-ass, fucking stupid, wobbly tablet. Because, you know what? I'm fucking retarded, I guess. But that's just me. Okay, so if I can move this shit to the right location. Good. 
Yes. Okay. You can see this a little bit. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to shake it up a little bit so that I can get the pork chop on top. I want the pork chop on top of the vegetables. There we go. Now, now, there we go. If you can see this, the pork chop is resting on top of the, the, the vegetables in there. This is going to be the stir fry. I love covering shit up when I cook. So this is going to be cooking, yet again, on a lower temperature, and that's basically going to heat up for a little bit. I'm going to thaw it out with the heat. So that's what we're going to do for now. And I will be back to check on this in like three minutes. Okay, so let's get rid of this. That is looking quite done to me. If only I could adjust this case the way that I wanted to, then it would be nice, and it wouldn't suck. It wouldn't suck at all, and it would be nice, and I would not have to deal with- Oh, hey, that's decent. That's not bad. I could get a- fuck. I could get a better angle. You don't understand, I actually have to find random objects to prop this fucking camera up on. Okay, so, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to spread this out just a little bit. Alright, so watch this shit. This is the Sashwan. This is very spicy, so I'm not going to use all that much. I'm just going to drizzle a little bit onto each pork chop and get a little bit in those veggies, those stir-fry vegetables. That looks good. Okay, now that I have that done, I can, whoops, I can put away the sash one, and this is where most of you might lose me for a second. But trust me on this, alright? Just trust me. Sugar. Just a little bit, not much. If you put too much in, it ruins the whole fucking thing. So, this is not a normal sized spoon, it's like... It's obviously bigger than my thumb is. So it's a pretty decently sized spoon. Uh, in comparison to a normal spoon size difference. So it's the big this is the big spoon. So what I'm gonna do do you see that amount? I mean yeah. Do you see how little I'm using? We use just a little bit to cover as much as we can and you want to cover as much of that as possible. And now, a second one. Very, very little. Very little. See how you can just barely see it on some of them? Yeah, that's it. That's all. You do no more than that, period. If you're using more than that, you're using way too much. You need to be careful with it. And then, we start stirring it around. I'm going to be bad at stirring this. So, you don't have to worry about being perfect with stirring it. You can just kind of move it around, lift it up, like you get that shit Roll the, uh, the pork chop around a little bit. Turn the pork chops upside down. That'll help it a little bit. You, like, scoop it underneath, get some up above, lay it on top. Scoop a little bit. Scoop a little bit. Lay it on top. 
is if you don't have a lot of room to work with with a uh, with a pan or your spatula is a little too large for the thing you're doing, this can always work out. Scoop a little bit from underneath, lay it on top, and now since it's like that, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna cover it. I'm going to cook this a little bit and I'm going to turn the heat up just a little bit. For reference, I'm at 4. 4 is what I started at with the low heat, but I'm bringing it back up to there. Doodle doo. Little, little, do. Little, little, do. La That looks really good and probably making you hungry. Which is good, because that's the point of this video. To make you hungry and try more food. Because it's good. And teach you how to cook something new. Maybe, maybe you know how to do it better than me. But maybe not. Maybe you're a lazy piece of shit. That doesn't know how to cook any food. And that's why you're watching this video. Because food! Ah, oh, shit, I just got more on the stove. I'm gonna really need to clean up this fucking stove when I'm done. Which probably means I'll do it tomorrow. Which probably means I'm gonna forget. Which probably means it's not gonna get cleaned up until the next time I cook food. Which probably means I'm gonna say I'll do it later. Which, the cycle continues. I gotta fucking get that done. Like, I actually should get that done. Oh, I see a stem on this pepper. This bean. Well, I can't. Oh. Mm. Just took a tiny taste test with a green bean. Yeah, that's really good. I want a little bit more of that Szechuan to cook out and cook in. You want this Szechuan to do two things. You want to stir it more, and you want to make sure that you're getting all of that stirred around, stirred on to stuff, because uh, the two things that you want it to do is you want it to cook into the meat and the vegetables. So you want them to absorb the flavor of that. The second thing you're going to want it to do is to cook out, which means it's going to evaporate mostly and get stuck to the food. It's going to become less watery and more viscous. It's going to get, meaning it's going to get thicker. And when it gets thicker, it sticks to stuff more. And when it sticks to stuff more, it'll, uh, the stuff, the, uh, the food that it's stuck to will absorb the flavor more. And, as you can see with some of this uh, pork chop right here going on, you can see this nice little glaze that's starting to occur on it, and it's getting browner, kind of like a tan color. Yeah, I'm trying to get it to focus and it's not wanting to work. But, it is looking quite good at this point. And I, can, I think... Yeah. When you get to the point that you can pull the stuff away and it mostly is clear in the bottom of the pan and there's no like remaining liquid underneath, then you're probably good at that point. There's a little bit here, but that's okay, because sometimes you want a little bit of the juice to stick around, depending on how you like it. So, yeah, let's put this into a fucking bowl. 
see how it looks. Okay, so, oh wait, my, oh shit, I just learned how to turn on the fucking, the, the flash light thing. Okay, well anyways, this is my stir fry. Jesus, this looks bad quality from here. I mean, I guess it's better than my natural, normal lighting, but yeah. That is, uh, Sashwan stir fry. got this nice little glaze over it. Oh, look at that steam. It looks amazing. I'm gonna eat this shit. I'm gonna eat this shit. I'm gonna eat this shit real nice. Nice little Mountain Dew, because that's how I like it. Bitch. See you later, motherfucker.